Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have actually Bamal Brooks with 984 rating versus Didara with 608 rating, so it's going to be another high rated DB video. Also, you know, we got YCS champ here, let's go, let's go, alright, hopping right in, uh, we're going to go ahead and we are going to see Didara uh, decide to go first, 40 versus 45, opening hands, we got Safer, Lebelion, Quick Launch, Regain, Lebelion, they got Motorbike, Taya, Vashuda, Long Young, Ashina, so we have Sword Soul, Super Heavy Samurai versus Dragon Link. Uh, this is actually a deck that people wanted me to show off a lot before, and then I think I showed it off once and the player was bad, so like, here we go. Now we got like, hopefully not a bad player with the deck. Uh, Long Young, Discard, Ashina, Special Out Token. Okay, maybe just setting up Baron, yeah, before even starting the combo, which I can respect that, because like, now we can motorbike, and then we have a really strong Taya, or we just Taya first. Okay, you know what? I'll trust them, because it's not like I play this deck, but they're going to banish, bring out token, go in the Baxia, and then Taya effect, that can dump Moe, so dump Moe, Baxia effect, pop itself, bring out Moe, Moe effect, reveal, okay, and then they get to summon token, go for Grandmaster, and then activate the effects, so they're going to draw into Bian, and then go search, holy, so they're playing, like, the dang long stuff, too. And now they're gonna go motorbike effect, discard, go search, and then grab prodigy, and then prodigy scale effect, summon, bring out big benki, big benki effect, go search, grab out soul horns, that's the level one, so that way you can make the dang long, and then, yup, yeah, make dang long, uh, dang long and prodigy, so scale the prodigy, go search for the nine pillars, uh, pendulum out the BN and the Vashuda, Vashuda up in the monk, Ashina could summon, and then we can make Herald, okay, no, I guess you can just do that on their turn, well, I mean, wait, that's, that's not gonna work, Ashina and Herald, I realized what I just said, no, that's not gonna work, um, okay, Pass turn. We could have potentially done it a tiny bit different. We could have maybe started with the Prodigy stuff, brought that out. Or not started, but like Baron, do this, do that. Keep Axia on field afterwards with Taya. Baxia could pop something else. You could pop a scale to summon back out. Or you could pop like a Deng Long to bring back out. Yeah, you could, nah, ah, okay, whatever, pass, and then they're just going to admit the feet there, yeah, I was going to say, this, this is a really hard board to break, it's not going to be an easy board to break there, but they're just going to scoop onto the next game, we're going to see dragons go first, we got recharger, anti-spell, ash, abzerouter, safer, they got ashina, long young, ash, motorbike, and emergence, and then normal summon, safer, effect, discard, recharger, chain ash blossom, go up in the striker dragon, Striker Dragon effect, search out boot, and then we're going to go Striker Dragon, pop, add back Recharger, activate boot, boot to summon out Recharger, and then special summon out Abza Router, link those two off in the Romulus, and then effects, search Ravine, go search Tracer, and then activate Ravine, effect, discard, dump Lubellion, discard Tracer, or dump Sornir, dump Lubellion, you know, so that way we can get this in the rotation, that makes like Regang better, uh, more dark attributes in the graveyard too. Uh, we're gonna grab out Magma Mutt, and then banish Abza Router, summon Magma Mutt, effect search during the end phase, tribute it for Lubellion, and then Lubellion effect, bring out Reganged, say anti-spell, make seal, end phase, go search for Druus Worm, and then pass turn. They draw Otara, flip anti-spell, uh, Long Young, discard Ashina, sure. Could have maybe started with that stuff. Could have also discarded Emergence. But we're going to bring out the token. Then they're going to go regain, summon out Magma. Magma effect of search during the end phase. And then we're going to go seal, tribute, bounce back Long Young instead of the token. Uh, maybe trying to play around the Yazi line. And then seal, bring out Tracer. But... Yeah, I was going to say, it's kind of... So it's a little bit rough. I mean, it's like fine if they play Shadana. Oh my god, they actually play it. 
I guess that's fair. They are playing, like, a bigger combo deck, so I bet you the level 4 off that could come up more. But that's pretty good for them. And we're not going to try to out that there, because we could, like, summon Druus Worm, Tracer Pop, Druus Worm Effect the Sun. We're just going to let that go. They're going to bring out Baxia. Baxia Effect, put back Anti-Spell, Motorbike Effect, Discard Go Search. We allow that to go through. We don't even choose to stop that. Doesn't even choose to stop that. And then they're going to go activate Immersions. Wait. What? What? That's not real. Oh, my God. Because, like, look. Okay. You know, if you activate a spell, right, it goes to your grave, right? Okay. Once the spell is in your graveyard, your Prodigy no longer has an effect. So, you're obviously supposed to lead with the Prodigy, Instead of the card that makes the other card in your hand not do anything. Instead of making it a powerhouse of a card. A powerhouse of a card. A very strong card that's hard to interact with. Now can't be activated and use its effect. So they're going to scale the normal Adara. Um, okay, I mean they could Baxia destroy that. I thought that's why they scaled it. But normal Adara, go up in the Monk. Maybe they just want to Baxia destroy Monk. No, Baxia on uh, Wakashi and Bike. Can't. Ashina? Oh, true. I mean, we can't bring back Bike. We can bring out Shatana. Uh, for some reason, I thought when they said that, when they said can't, they were like, you can't Baxia pop a scale. And I was like, that's, that's not true. I don't even have to read this. I know that's not true. But they're going to scoop. Yeah, they, they didn't play that out very well. They could have just motorbiked in the Prodigy and then Prodigy effect. You know, just could, could have done that a lot better. They didn't think it through. I mean, obviously, they have to have caught their own misplay. There's no way they didn't. If their line was like, oh, let me Emergence, grab Taya, Taya, banish Emergence, then you're dumb. Simple as that. Simple as that. Because that's like really wishful thinking that you don't get stopped at all. Compared to, like, just doing, like, a very simple line. And it's Prodigy, too. Like, this card doesn't play into anything. Like, unless your opponent happens to have Ogre in their hand. Which, like, Taya would also get hit by. But then we got Book of Eclipse, Talon, Saferd, Sornir, Safer. They got Moe, Prodigy, Adara, Taya, Moe. But I guess, like, if they had Ogre, they wouldn't do it to Taya. They would just hold it for that then. But, okay, now... We do see only one Sornir as a hand trap here, but we got a few other going second cards that are really strong. Both of these cards are really good against Sword Soul, but they're not playing regular Sword Soul. Like, regular Sword Soul, I, you know, Eclipse our Talents really cooks. But Summon Adara, Normal Moe, Effect to Reveal, Bring Out Token, Bring Out Moe, Summon Out Token, and then go up in the Grandmaster, uh, Grandmaster 1, Moe 2, draw on the Big Benki, Go search Long Young. Okay, if they only play one of that, that is so funny. It is so funny if they only play one of that. Then Long Young, discard Moe, summon, bring out token. Mm-hmm, that's fine. Uh, use those now to go in the Baron, burn for 12. And then we're going to activate, activate. Oh my gosh, we only play one. I mean, yeah, it sucks. I mean, I get why they led with this. Because they wanted to get their draw in. Uh, you know, you can get your search in, and then maybe if they didn't draw on the Big Benki, their next place Prodigy to try to go for, like, the Synchro 5 and the Search Counter Trap. But now we're just going to go Taya, uh, bring out Token. It's a pretty weird deck, I'm not going to lie. I kind of like the uh, the Vanquish Soul Super Heavy Samurai deck more than I like this deck, even though I know that deck's not, like, a combo deck. I feel like that deck's, like... Oh, the synergy so much cooler. But they're going to dump Ashina, grab nine pillars, and then Adara, grab back Long Young, and then Ashina to summon out Shadana, because now those can go into a Draco Berserker. And then Deng Long, dump Chu in, uh, just to, you know, get that in Graveyard, because we know that they play BN. So the goal is to activate nine pillars, negate, Deng Long effect summon from deck, Chu in summon from grave, level one, Tuner, level 3 non-tuner, level 3 non-tuner effect to quick synchro, make Herald of Arc Light that cannot be destroyed by battle. That is the goal. That's like the classic Deng Wong, like, one card combo. Uh, they draw a Magnum up there. Uh, Bistials can stop the Chuin, though. Also, 
depending on how it goes, like, uh, you know, how Yang's things have to be, they have to be chain link one. So let's say you go like activate talents and the opponent's like, okay. And then you're like chain book of eclipse and then they chain counter trap to send Deng Long. They're not going to get Deng Long effect to summon. Um, yeah. Or wait, wait, wait. Is it Deng Long? If this face of card or is it, is it this? Or is it this? This is what it is. Yeah, this won't get its effect. I thought it was this too, but I guess that's just wrong. Okay, well, it's just true and that'll miss timing. But still, I mean, if you make that miss timing, you're not going to get hit with Herald of Arclight. Um, but Book of Eclipse, they're going to go Baron Negate, Towns, Chain 9 Pillars, shuffle that back, and then they're going to go Dang Long 1, Chu, and 2, Sornir 3. They could Draco Berserker. Um, but even if you do Drake go Berserker, um, yeah, that was a misplay. Because even if you Drake go Berserker, right, it doesn't negate, all it does is banish. So, you can banish this from your hand, but then it's still going to resolve. Like, you know, it's still going to banish that target. And then it says, and if you do summon this card from hand, but it's just not in hand anymore. So, like, it's just not going to summon. But it's still going to do the first part. Uh, so, we didn't have to summon out Magma up there. And now they're going to bring out BN, Magma Effect, and also they just forgot to banish the Chewin. Uh, normal summon out Saferd now. And then anything on summon, nope, Saferd, send Saferd. Go grab out White Dragon. So they only have Grandmaster left. So grab out White, Saferd plus Magma, and the Chaos Angel made with Light and Dark. Effect, banish Grandmaster, summon White, banish Magma. Um, trying to think, what can we even do next? What can we even do next? Are we just going to beat over? I was going to say, is it Striker Dragon? And, and then what? Like, Striker into just Seal? I guess we could go for Lebellion and get rid of the boot. So we're going to go up in the Striker and then Effect. Wait. Oh. oh, okay, 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 okay. Maybe it's just because it's a big combo matchup, but they took out the Rockets going second. Okay, those cards are really good going first. Going second, they're a little bit more awkward. So I could see why they wanted to somewhat take them out of the list going second but again maybe it's just because it's a big combo deck but we're gonna go up in the dark charmer dark charmer to take the draco berserker then summon black by banishing white go in the pisty go in the triple burst pisty effect uh just bring out sornir yeah they said, um, oh, okay. Said you have longing in hand. I was to say they don't, they don't have an interruption. Maybe they were just thinking, like, oh, was that legal? But now we're gonna go up in the Romulus effects. Go search for Ravine, dump Lubellion. Okay, then we can Saferd for Lubellion. Yeah. So Saferd grab back Lubellion. So instead of having the Ravine for it, you know, Pisty for the Sornier. But now we're going to go uh, Lubellion, grab Jurus Worm. Jurus Worm does out Baron. Uh, we're going to banish, you know, they're Deng Long now. Okay. Special Summon out. And then Tribute Jurus Worm for Lubellion. Jurus Worm out Baron. Go in this... There's no Lubelli on targets either? Oh my gosh, this deck became bare bones game three. I, I, I don't think I agree with that. Because, like, even if you draw the going second cards to, like, attempt to break an opponent's board, you still have to have, like, a strong enough engine to, like, still do stuff, right? And it's like... Oh, man, I don't know, like, siding out Regang, maybe, siding out Rockets, maybe, siding out both together, I don't know, I, it feel it hurts, it hurts, I mean, what do I know, like, I, 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 I haven't won a YCS with Dragons in the last week, but, like, that seems crazy to me, 
They're gonna activate Ravine, end phase, grab back Jurusworm, pass, they draw Moe. Uh Okay. I'm trying to think. Like even if you summon Moe, I mean as long as your opponent just like isn't dumb. Said so the Netflix DB combo messed me on adding boot and using Lubellion. Oh okay, okay, okay. Uh I was about to say like like sure but no way, right? I I I was I was really thinking there. I was like, there's no way you actually sat out regained and rockets. I was like, is this really what they did to like win the YCS? Like, I, I was really thinking I was behind. I was ho oh, oh. Okay, okay, okay. Nice. Uh, it's 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 fair, it's fair. Me personally, I haven't got hit with the Netflix combo in a while, but I've gotten hit with the Hulu combo far too much. Far too much. Okay, so they're going to bring out token, seal, bounce back token, seal, bring out magma mutt, magma mutt effect, and yes, obviously bounce back token. If we bounce back Mo, you were going to get hit with the pendulum summon technique into obviously just lose. I mean, now you don't have the pendulum, you just bring out Long Young, but yeah, they're just going to reveal their top card with Shuda and then admit defeat and leave without saying GG's unfortunate. Seeing how long the match was, it's about 28 minutes long and we are going to see Dragon Link end up winning over the Sword Soul Super Heavy Samurai deck with the Denglong package and everything in it. Um, I think that uh, Sword Soul deck is cool. It's cool to watch. You can make like really big boards with it too, which is like nice. And like Sword Soul, you know, you don't really have to play like that many spells and traps in it. But I, uh, I I don't I don't think it's like that great. I'm really just I really like seeing the super heavy samurai stuff still to be honest. Like decks that can like actually play it, but decks that can play it well. I don't I don't I don't know if it's that deck because you know it feels like you're adding so much. Like you're adding one big Benki, you're adding BN, you're adding nine pillars, you're adding Chew in, and like none of those cards are good to draw. Uh, you're also taking up a little bit more extra X space with Denglong, which doesn't really matter. Um, that's, like, another thing. And then, you know, you got, like, the one-ofs for, like, the Super Heavy Samurai, like, the Big Benki, the Soul Horns. If they play another target, then that's another, like, one-of that they're playing. They're cutting Desires and stuff from their deck. So I don't know if it's the greatest in this deck, but I know, like, Vanquish Soul. I really like watching that deck with this stuff. Uh, it's pretty cool, especially because like all the super heavy samurais just aren't earth like this prodigy for some reason They just made it a dark and like that just helps a deck like vanquish soul so much For no reason like this just being a dark just changes the deck a lot Otherwise, you may just have too many earths or something. So that really helps but I'm not gonna waste any more time with all that being said the DB grinder signing off peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe